Grass has been Halep's least productive surface, but she does boast a title in S. Hertogenbosch from 2013, and a Wimbledon semi-final in 2014. The Romanian also had a very good run to the quarter-finals at the All-England Club last year, scoring notable wins over Kiki Burdens and Madison Keys before falling to Angelique Kerber in two tight sets. Halep has done well to rebound from a pretty ordinary start to the year. She was disturbed by a knee problem in the opening two months of the season, as she suffered notable early losses at the Australian Open and Indian Wells, and pulled out of the Middle Eastern swing in between, but she showed her first real signs of form in Miami, where she reached the quarter-final, ushering in a very successful clay court campaign. Halep is looking to kick on from her impressive clay court season, which yielded a second successive Madrid Open title, and runner-up finishes in Rome and Roland Garros. Her form heading into the French Open had made her the pre-tournament favorite, and she seemed destined to claim her first Grand Slam title when she took on Latvian youngster, Jelena Ostapenko in the final. She had several winning positions, including an early break in the deciding set, but she could quite see it through as an inspired Ostapenko hit her way back into the contest and over the finish line. Halep must now put aside that disappointment and look to make the most of what should be another open field at Wimbledon. Part of her disappointment at Roland Garros would have been her inability to capture the number one ranking she would have risen to the top of the world had she beaten Ostapenko. However, she gets another shot at that ranking this week in Eastbourne. Amongst other permutations, victory in Eastbourne will lift the Romanian above Angelique Kerber to the top of the world. She starts her week against China's Yang Yang Wan on Wednesday. Duan has put together some decent results at Wimbledon over the last couple of seasons. She rose through the qualifying rounds to reach the second round at the All England Club in 2015 and 2016 although she sneaked into the main draw as a lucky loser in 2016 she is quite capable on quicker surfaces. The Chinese enjoyed a solid enough start to the season, pushing Agnieszka Radwanska to the brink in Shenzhen in the opening week of the season, and reaching the quarter-finals in Sydney, as a qualifier, before losing again to Radwanska. She carried that good form into the Australian Open, where she made the third round. There have